Prehabilitation aims to support you in improving your health prior to having surgery or treatment for cancer. Even small improvements in your health can not only reduce the risks of treatment, but also speed up your recovery and in some cases make it more successful. Research suggests the following benefits of prehabilitation. Prehabilitation can reduce the length of stay following surgery. It can enhance your recovery following treatments. It can reduce your post-operative complications and improve your fitness and quality of life. Prehabilitation should start from the point of diagnosis and some cases before confirmed diagnosis. It should be continued throughout treatment and the recovery process, but this may need to be personalised to you. In this video, we'll introduce you to three key areas of prehabilitation and talk a little bit about each of them to best prepare you for your treatment. Physical activity or exercise can include walking, dancing, gardening and climbing the stairs or any activity that makes you feel a little out of breath. Exercising aims to improve how much physical work your body can tolerate. Choose something you enjoy doing and gradually increase the activity over the weeks leading to your treatment. Remaining active throughout your cancer pathway is also very important. Setting small goals and keeping an activity diary will help you to record your progress. Carrying out activities with a friend or a family member will also help. Remember, doing something is better than nothing. Caution should be given for people where cancer has spread to the bone and during treatment associated with reduced immunity or a reduction in normal blood counts. In these situations, advice from your oncology team or a specialist physiotherapist should be obtained before continuing or starting a new physical activity. Eating well and keeping a healthy weight will make you feel stronger, increase your energy levels, keep your immune system healthy and improve your sense of well-being. The Government's Eat Well Guide provides information about eating a balanced diet. Eating three meals a day, which include proteins, dairy products, fruit and vegetables, and carbohydrates are recommended. It's also important to keep hydrated to help avoid water infections and constipation. If you have lost weight or have a poor appetite, avoid low calorie foods and try to eat little and often. Drink milky drinks such as hot chocolate and add cream or cheese to meals to increase the amount of calories without increasing the portion size. Drinking alcohol can increase the risks of serious health conditions, such as heart disease, diabetes, and different types of cancer. It can also weaken your immune system, increase the risk of complications after surgery, and prolong your recovery. If you are concerned about the amount you are drinking, contact your GP or access support from Drink Aware. Stopping smoking is hard, but is strongly advised. Stopping will improve your general health and speed up your recovery if you are having surgery. If you would like support to stop smoking, speak to one of your healthcare professionals and they will refer or direct you to a stop smoking service. A cancer diagnosis can affect the emotional health of patients, families and caregivers. It's common and understandable to have feelings of anxiety, distress and depression. It's important to recognise these changes and get help when needed. Looking after your physical health and eating well can have a positive impact on your mental health. Sleeping well and relaxing can also make a positive difference. Opening up to difficult feelings can be scary and sharing experiences it's different for everyone. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Your specialist team are available to listen, give advice, and refer to appropriate mental well-being services, depending on individual needs. 
Seeking support and talking to people on a similar journey can help. The Cancer Care Map is an electronic resource which will help you to identify support groups in your area. The NHS Every Mind Matters website also gives very good advice and practical tips to look after your mental well-being. Try to be active. Doing something is better than nothing. Keep a diary and plan your day. Set small, achievable goals. Eat well. Keep hydrated. Stop smoking. Reduce alcohol. Talk about your anxieties. Sleep well. Don't be afraid to ask for help.